wanted to take a few minutes today and talk about my French cleat system I got on my wall. I've had some people ask me about it, so I figured I'd do a little video. Now, as you can see, I've got three strips on this wall. I've got four strips in some places, I've got two in others. <clears throat> um, each piece is about five and seven eighths inches uh, in, in thickness or in, in height here. Uh, what I did was a four by eight sheet of plywood, uh, three quarter inch, and I stripped it into four foot strips. And minus the saw curve blade, I didn't want to waste any more plywood than I had to, but I wanted these things sturdy. I had one up before that was made out of, of uh, hardwood. I think it was pine. I, yeah, I think it was pine. And it was a much smaller strip and it had a lot of weight on it and it fell off the wall and it landed on my truck. This is also my garage and everything kind of came down and it was a mess. I'm like, nope, not going to happen again. So I went really big on the pieces. Um, my uh, angle piece right here, I, I nicked off the top edge so it's not a sharp edge on there. I think you can see that right there across the top is smooth because it's flat instead of coming to a point. And uh, I think it seats better. And I, I put everything, everything <laughs> that's on the wall, short of my wood rack, everything else that's on the wall is on a cleat, uh, including storing my jigs and things like that. But obviously, you cut a 45, you nick off the edge, do the same thing on these, on the opposite angle, and it'll drop right in place. Leave enough of a gap between so that you can do different heights, different places. Um, I pre-drilled each one of these pieces where the screws go in. Uh, each one of these hole sets, before I put them on the wall, I drilled at 16 inches on center and then I countersunk the hole so that the GRK screws that I used, I used a pretty beefy screw, I knew they'd hit a stud. Even if I couldn't see the wall, uh, I, could, I could just put it up against the wall once I had my first one on, once I lined up my first set of studs, the rest of them were already drilled at 16 inches on center or countersunk. So I knew I'd hit a stud every time I, I put a piece of this stuff up. And I have got it everywhere. And four foot lengths, for me, worked easier than, uh, you know, you could have stripped it in eight foot pieces, but four footers just worked out better. There's places where you start running out of room and you need to cut them down, you need to work them. So four foot strips, it, it was just easier for me to work with. Now I also have on the other side of my garage, and uh, the light's a little strange here, sorry. Uh, I have a cleat that runs up here as well, and this cleat runs all the way across, which means that my clamp rack and all of my cabinets, uh, all the way down the wall, those are also on a cleat, and I can move those around as I need to. That came in handy one time when uh, I had my ladder, I have a ladder up here hung suspended, and I had put a cabinet right here. I didn't realize after I put it all together <laughs> that the door wouldn't open because it was banging into the ladder. I couldn't get the door open on the cabinet. So I just moved the cabinet down. You just pick it up, slide it down, put the clamp rack here. Everything worked great. So it's, it's, it's super versatile. The other thing that I like is that everything that you, uh, that you need, you can kind of custom make for it. And it's all things you can make on your own. Uh, so it's, it's, it's suited for your location. Um, it hasn't really been a lot of money. I mean, most of what I've made for these things has just been scraps. So it hasn't really cost a lot. Uh, this is my charging station for my batteries, and these are the three systems that I'm in. <laughs> three universes of battery tools. I don't want any more. This is plenty. So I didn't make it any bigger. I made it big enough for these three. And, you know, DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Ryobi. I think will cover the gambit for me. But, you know, I can pick this thing up, I can move it around. I've got a, a power strip underneath it, and I just need to plug it in, and it's all one modular unit. I think it's the modularity that, that I like about this whole thing. And, you know, I think like all of us, you kind of get moving things around, and you kind of get thinking, well, maybe if I try this over here. But it's a pain in the butt to move stuff when you've got it screwed to the wall. Well, this way you just pick it up, move it around. If you don't like it, you put it back. If you like the system, you leave it. Uh, if you buy bigger tools, you change the jigs that go on the wall. If you buy smaller tools, you make them smaller and you've gained more space. Uh, all sorts of good, good reasons, I think, for the French cleat. Now, I upgraded my chop saw this year, and this one is significantly bigger <laughs> than my old one, which uh, wasn't a slider. This is the first slider I've, I've put in this spot, 
and it's big. And because of the pivot on this thing, because it's so big, uh, the things that I had on the wall were interfering with the slide. Uh, every time I tried to come around, I was, I was banging into things. So uh, with the cleat system, it's real easy. You just pick stuff up and move it around. It's, uh, everything comes off the wall. Everything's movable. So even if it's just like a little... There we go. Even if it's just like for an inch or two, just, to, just enough to gain some space, uh, it's, it's sometimes the difference between frustration of having to unscrew things from a wall and move things around and just picking something up and shuffling it over. These are by far my two favorite cleat things that I've built, French cleat things that I've built. Uh, one was for the uh, for the hand planes, and this is all handmade as well. I haven't built the drawer to go underneath it yet, but I have a box of from Lee Nielsen things that I just need to put away at some point. But that's, uh, I mean, it, it comes off the wall. It holds all the planes I'm ever going to need. I don't think I'll ever buy any more. Never say never, right? But this is really all that I need, and it's all in one spot. And every time I, I can just grab something and go with it, it's kind of a traditional style, but putting it on the cleat means if I want to move it to another part of the garage somewhere, if I'm working on the other side with them, I can move the whole thing. It's a little cumbersome to move, it's not something I want to move every day. But just knowing I can slide it around, this was one of the things that had to be slid down when I put my new slider, my chop saw in. Everything had to move down about six inches, so I just shuffled everything down, because it's just easy. The other thing, and this is kind of a, it's, a, it's an idea that I picked up from April Wilkerson that I liked as well, was uh, putting the, the um, little saws here on an angle and just making them a grab and go. I'm sure she swiped the idea from somebody else, so, but I'll give her credit for it for me. Uh, and I've got both of my uh, circular saws set up. This is a rough cut saw for me, just a, just a rough blade for breaking down things quick. It's light, it's easy. Um, this one has more of a finished blade on it. I've got the Craig system. I've also got the Craig track saw system. So this one keeps the plate on it. It keeps the, uh, the rip thing here right in a slot with it. Uh, and then the saw can come down, can do its job. Maybe put back up when it's done. I know where it is. And again, I can move it around if I need to. And I keep the track handy too. So everything's just grab and go. Anything that's, that's, that needs to be grab and go is on the wall. Secondary would be shelves or uh, drawers underneath here. Uh, and thirdly would be up overhead uh, for things that are kind of more cold storage, things I might not use very often. But the things that I want to use often are on the wall. Here's another oopsie. I wasn't really thinking about it at the time, but uh, I had other thoughts on my head when I, when I put these up redoing our kitchen and we had a couple of kitchen cabinets left over that I didn't want to get rid of we were testing paint colors so they look a little funny I know but they store stuff and storage is key for everything and cabinets are expensive so I wanted to save them um, I hung these on a cleat and then when I realized oh, this is great I can put all sorts of stuff in here and I came over here realized I'm hitting my garage door track I can't get the door open well, you know, in, in any given day, that would be kind of a <laughs> oh crap moment. But really, this for me, I just pick it up. At some point, I'll move it. I, you know, it's not that big a deal. I can hang it on another piece of cleat. I can use it the way it is. Uh, so it's, uh, it's nice to be able to rethink something when you haven't thought it through. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with me. Just a quick talk about my uh, French cleat system. If you got any questions, just uh, send me a message or whatnot. Um, it's worked out great for me. This is my second system. The first one, which I had made a lot smaller, and I made it out of pine. And then I realized that I was overloaded. Well, I didn't realize till it fell off the wall and everything landed on my truck that it was too weak. Uh, I was beginning to wonder, as, as I used it, and the more I liked it, the more I started putting things on it, uh, the heavier it got and the more robust it needed to be. So that's why I built the system I did. Uh, it's really, really strong. Uh, GRK screws, I forget what the pound rating was on them, but they're, they're super sunk in the wall. They're at least three inch screws uh, on a three quarter inch piece of plywood. Um, 
and really it's it's held up everything. I mean I've got cabinets on the other wall being held up by this and those cabinets are full. And so far so good. Two years and it hasn't moved. It hasn't even creaked on me a little bit. So I'd, I'd highly recommend it. But thanks again for watching.